Hello and welcome back to Life Up. Um, it's a pleasure sharing information with you all the time. Today we're going to look at Express Entry, the process involved. And um, some of you have been asking about Express Entry. So I'm going to take you through the Express Entry, the process involved is going to be. So I will say this will be the first phase and then uh, we can look at the others later on. I thank you all for being part of this family. Continue to be part of this family. Um, like the video and share it for others to also see. If you have not subscribed, this is your first time, please do well to hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification button as well so that um, you get notified anytime I put anything there. If you have any question, just let me know. I'll do my best to give you the information I know on it. So without wasting much time, um, I have so many videos here, so many opportunities here that you can look at. I recently posted some Canadian schools that are very affordable that you can check. You can check them. The U.S. schools are also there. Um, this is the time you need to apply for schools because um, time is fast going and application will be closed and then scholarship deadline will be closed. So this is the time you need to apply for schools. Okay, let's go to the express entry. So here, if you come to this website, this is the official Canadian immigration website. The official website of the government of Canada. So everybody who comes to Canada have to use this website. Whether you are visiting, you are studying, permanent resident, citizenship, even the Canadians, even this is what they use to get information. Yep. So like this is like everything about Canada. The here is where you can get it. So policy, justice, emergency, transport and infrastructure, Canada and the world, money and finances, science and innovation like everything about Canada, this is the website that will give you the authentic information. All other websites, they'll give you authentic information, but they are like bloggers. But this is the official website. This is the official website. So here is where you come to get your authentic information. So you can go to this website and then because immigration, you now want to migrate so you go to immigration and citizenship here is where you have to you have the immigration and citizenship um i may rush through because this might take a longer time so if you so this is where like if it is the, your first time you don't have to sign up for any account because you are just looking for information but if you are ready to apply then where you create and you create an account where you start your application. So whether you are doing school, you are doing visit, you are doing work, you are doing express entry, you one day have to create this account. So now, so we want to migrate, so you can get to see visit, migrate, work, and then express entry is under migration because, um, so express entry, you go to migrate and then migrate the services they have they have the express entry family sponsorship provincial nominee quebec selected skill workers atlantic um, migration caregivers startup visa self-employed rural and northern immigration pilot agri food pilot temporary resident like so these are economics these are refugees if you want to migrate these are the routes that you can use to migrate to Canada, a lot of them. But all of them have their own um, requirements and then like minimum requirement. But looking at all of them, well, if you have somebody who is a citizen in Canada, then if family sponsorship, they can help you with the family sponsorship if you have a citizen in Canada. But we are looking at the express entry we are looking at the express entry 
somebody asked me a question on it but he wasn't specific so i don't know if i'm doing this right the right video for the person or um if not you have to be specific on what exactly that he was asking but this is how i understood it so the express entry so we look at um you have to first check your eligibility your work experience your education they will ask you that is what i'll be going through today after you are eligible then you have to get the document you need you have to get your documents you need your language test your education assessment if you have a job offer place certificate so they will tell you all this proof of fun and then you submit your express entry profile if you submit it it goes into a pool and then when the draw is made it's not like lottery that they will be picking randomly they just pick a number and then if they, I think the last one they had was 490. I'm not quite sure, but I think 490. So anybody who gets above that number will be selected to apply for a permanent residence. So within six months, you get your permanent residency. So let's go to how it works. Okay, so they have three um, phases the Canadian Experience Class, the school, Federal School Worker Program, and then Federal School Trade Program. Yeah, all of them you can, but Canadian Experience is for those who are in Canada, like you came here with school, you came here with school, then you may use this Canadian Experience yeah that is the um, where they will pick you from but those of us who just want to come here straight through the express entry um we fall under school worker and trade school trade program yeah so that is what is here so your first step is find out if you're eligible that is what you need to find out after you are you find out that you're eligible you have to check your score because that is where you'll be selected, the comprehensive ranking system. So you have to check your score. And then if you check your score, and then you know that, oh, my score is high, then you, you just apply, and then you'll be waiting to be called. And then you get your document ready. You They call you, sorry, you, get your, you check your scores, you estimate your score, you know that, oh, you could go through. You get your document, you apply, and then you wait for invitation. Yeah. And then the invitation, I think it's every two weeks. They make a draw every two weeks. So if you are truly eligible, like you have a higher score and you are lucky, within two weeks, you could be. they can call you. And then within six months, you could become a permanent resident. So let's look at the first thing, find out. If you meet the minimum, um, yeah. So these are some of the things that they look at. They look at your nationality, age, language, ability, family members, education, work experience, job offer, if you have some. So what you have to do is check your eligibility. Check your eligibility. Okay. So which province do you want to do? Because we are just trying. Let's pick any province. So let's see here if I pick none and I click on tells me based on the answer you do not appear to be eligible. So because I said I don't have any English proficiency, I'm not eligible. So you need to have your English proficiency. You need to have your English proficiency. So I think I've shown you what to do. Um, so if you just fill out this, it will ask you a whole lot of questions. It's going to ask you the scores of your English proficiency, the scores of it. It's going to ask you whether you are married, the number of people that you will, they will accompany you to Canada, your work experience. So it will ask you all those questions. After that, they will tell you if you are eligible or not. So if they say you are eligible, then you can think of 
moving forward so if you don't have english proficiency so, oh, what am i saying i'm sorry it's not i'm not talking about english proficiency english test english test i mean english test not english proficiency sorry i don't know why i'm, I'm saying english proficiency the english or french test english test that is the IELTS they take IELTS they take um CELPIP C E L P I P they take C E F they take C C F I think IELTS is the common one I know about this one too IELTS is the common one so if you plan to come to Canada you have to do this you have to get your education they'll ask you a whole lot of questions and then they'll tell you you are eligible you're eligible that doesn't mean you 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 will be invited you are eligible so your scores your experience so you have to go to the um the comprehensive ranking to check your scores and compare it with previous um scores and then if then you can apply you can apply so that is it um that is it so it's very simple it's very simple you could do this yourself but have your english test ready your english test have it ready before you start if you have any other question i'm not quite sure if i answer the question that was asked if i answer the question that was asked um i'll be looking at the provincial nominator next time for you so that you know how that also work so thank you for being part of us um let, let's build a great family share this for others and then let's build a very great family see you next time bye